to Bishkek. I uh, got here two days ago. And I'm on my way to pick up my bike from the bike shop. Here's Kirill. Yep. How you doing? Good, good. And the plan is to get all my bags on the bike. Max, nice to meet you. And then start a little road trip that's gonna take me to Osh, where the race is gonna start. Это что? GPS. Тоже GPS, да? some kind of flu something like that I have four days four days to get better and to make it to the start about some medicine pharmacy paracetamol and uh, some uh, antibiotics tried to see a doctor couldn't find one as my hotel but they weren't very helpful I mean yeah just uh just gotta hope for the best it's really not looking good I uh, spent a lot of time sleeping. My voice is gone. My throat hurts. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to the start. I feel better for the first time in three days. And the race starts tomorrow at midnight. And I think I can make it. If I can just hang on to the head of the race for the first two or three days. Until I get there, until I get my fitness back then who knows what can happen. I'm just happy I get to race, actually. And then we'll see what happens. All right, race starts in 30 minutes. Not much I can do now. Uh, the improvement today was not as spectacular as I expected. But yeah, that's the time where the mind takes over the body and the man becomes a machine. At least that's what I hope for. How do you say good luck in Russian? 
Удачи! Желаю удачи, София! Three and a half hours into the race, still feel pretty sick. But for some reason, my legs work and uh, I can keep up with the head of the race. Honestly, I wasn't too confident. I thought I could, you know, ride, but I had no idea I could ride fast, somewhat fast. So, pretty happy about that. Rise and shine, porcupine. Sun's up, still going. Painfully, but going. Climbing Gyptic Pass. Carew says there's 10 kilometers to go and 1,000 meters. It's gonna be fun. And here's the first what the fuck section of the 2022 Silk Road Mountain Race. There's a uh, few people ahead of me and a lot behind me so even if I'm not my usual self I'm not completely useless Whew. it's a long hike a bike I'm in third position, so that's good. Anything can happen now. Just gonna get, gonna get a good night's sleep. Just gonna take it easy for the beginning of the race. Not overdo it. Sleep, not push too hard on the pedals and see what happens. <coughs> Sorry about that. I had a good uh, night's sleep. You can call four hours a night. Oh, my strategy now to race my race on my own terms. Try not to pay attention to what the others do. Uh, not overdo it. Get some good sleep, solid sleep. Pretty much the, the opposite of what I usually do. And see where it takes me. And uh, I'm confident that I'm gonna feel better and better. And uh, if I can, stay close to the lead while doing this and then when I'm 100% then I'll try and uh, make my move it is 35 degrees uh, looking at the route I know the heat would be a major factor so far um, managing it I would say okay, not great. What's it? Kids just give you that place to I'm starting to climb to Arslan Bob. I love that name. I don't know why, but I love that name. It's so not Kyrgyz. <laughs> I guess I think I'm in second position. Not too far from the lead. So that's good. First step. Right. What happened to Rodney? Did you, did you play poker here with you for <laughs> two or four hours? One day, 18 hours, 46 minutes. Well done. Any comments, Sofian? If I have two sons. I will name the first one Arslan and the second one Bob. <laughs> I'm now in third position. James Hayden is like right in front of me. And Rodney's a couple of hours ahead. I guess I'm gonna make my move soon. Uh, 
I uh, met James in the grocery store this morning as he was resupplying. I resupply in the same store. Then he went on his way, you know, resupply. And then I passed him at the bottom of the pass while he was filling up his bottles. Left, but they were they hadn't clean. I told them I don't care. I sleep in a dirty room. I'm in Kazarman, and according to the tracker, Rodney's here too. Somewhere, I you seen, but potentially. I just grabbed first place. Uh, and if that's the case, I have no intention of letting go. Whew. I gotta make sure that I'm uh, at the top of my game. Rodney Sanko. Rodney and I are climbing out of Kazama and it is very hot. Uh. I got to the checkpoint in first position. One of the volunteers at the checkpoint I had a funny question. He asked me if I saw the cheese maker that is in the in the downhill of Juku. If it's a downhill, I didn't see shit, man. And there could be two packs of core having gelato with Elvin Presley and I wouldn't notice it. I don't know where the cheese dude is. Maybe he's there, maybe he's not. You're gonna have to go check for yourself. Hotel sleep. That was a pretty good opportunity to get some sleep indoors, and I uh, I uh, changed my mind on the road. This is what they call the hotel. I thought after climbing Arabel, it would be smooth feeling to Tamga. But it's all good, there's a bridge. Pretty much all I can do is keep moving.
I don't speak much about my state of mind, but I'm just so happy to be here, so happy to be fit to race, and I'm having the time of my life. Every day is just constantly stunning views. Such a, such an amazing place, that is Kyrgyzstan. I'm so, so glad I came back. It's like, there's nothing I'd rather do than ride my bike here. It's, it's challenging and it's rewarding. It's pretty much everything you want it to be. Well done, man. Good riding. And together. Good riding, Steve. Well done. Well done. It's good. It's good. It's a good look. How are you doing, Jonah? <laughs> I'm Jonah. alive. Minus four degrees. <laughs> and he got his feet wet. We all get our feet wet because there's so many river crossings anyway. There's no way you can get your I try. Feet. I try to fly with the bicycle. Yeah. Uccello means, means uh, bird in, in Italian. His yeah. yeah. name is Uccelli. Yeah. So you, you should fly. You should fly. No, I can fly. Come on, man. Try. Try <laughs> harder. Try harder. <laughs>